Really? Really? Can you be quiet? 27 heart beat! Hey guys! It's your girl Jasmine and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. So as you guys can see by the title of this video, today I'm going to be telling you about my experience working at CVS Pharmacy or CVS Health, whatever you want to call it. Now before I get started with this video, I have done previous experience videos in the past. I will try to link those down below if you guys want to check those out for jobs I have worked at in the past. But I do want to give this disclaimer because I don't know if I gave this in my other videos, but this is just my experience. This is my experience working at CVS, my experience that I had solely based off of the one location that I worked at in my city. I've only worked at one location, I had one manager, and this is my experience. Now this is not gonna be everyone's experience. I'm not hating on CVS as a company in any way, shape, or form. I just wanted to let you guys know my personal experience of working at CVS and how my management was and how things went for me. So if you have a great experience at CVS, if you love CVS, that is great for you. I just wanna let you guys know my personal experience and how it went for me working there. So with that in mind, come join my story with an open mind and don't leave me hate and tell me that you love working at CVS and CVS is not like this and blah 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 all this stuff because I get it this is just my store it could happen to other people as well but I want to share my story with you so if you want to hear my story on my experience of working at CVS then keep on watching so now I have made several notes because I did quit a couple months ago and when I did quit I wanted to make this video immediately but all of my feelings and all of my emotions would have caused this video to be very negative and very mean. So I just wrote everything down, how I was feeling and everything. And now I'm here to tell it to you. I also have some receipts, I have some text messages, you know, I'm gonna try to pop up on the screen for you guys to kind of show you the interactions that I had while working at CVS. I started working at CVS in November of 2018. Now I didn't work in the pharmacy, I was a cashier, so I worked in the front end of the store. Keep that in mind as well. I did not work in the pharmacy, I worked in the retail side. Everything was going really good at first. It had great hours, really nice people, and the job was actually fairly easy. Nothing too complicated, nothing too hard. Basically, like I said, I handled the cash register, so I helped all the customers, had customer service, all of that stuff. I stocked the store when we would get the trucks in. Literally, it was a pretty easy, easy job. As I said, I started working there in November. It was about the beginning to maybe like second week of November, so pretty early on in November. But for that first month, things were great. I didn't have any like anger towards anything like I really liked going to work every day things were really good December was the first little mishap I had basically my entire story is going to be how my manager treated me while I was working at this CVS now my co-workers pretty much everyone else I worked with I loved them a lot they were great to work with my manager was great but she had a little bit of a negative and rude side to her which I'm gonna try to show you in this video just to kind of show you how you shouldn't be treated when you go to a job to give you a little preface it was Sunday December 9th and it snowed the night before so in North Carolina when it does snow people don't really know how to prepare for it because we are like in the middle more so in the south but we are still kind of in the middle so we do still get snow here so when it does snow the roads are really icy and it's kind of dangerous because nobody knows how to drive also another little preface is that i worked about 20 to 25 ish minutes away from my house so it did take me a little bit longer to get there when it did snow and it was really icy outside and honestly i turned on the news and it said don't leave your house if you don't have to because the roads are really bad i had to work that day i texted my manager so with this weather i'm not sure if my mom is going to let me drive so i'm not sure if i will be able to come in i'm trying to figure out how bad the roads are to see if i can drive but i wasn't sure what i was supposed to do if i wasn't able to again this is the first time I had ever called out of work or had anything where I was like oh I'm not gonna be able to come to work today I thought that she would be very understanding and she'd be like oh it's okay don't worry about it basically because the roads are really bad and I say my mom is not gonna let me come and yes I am 20 almost 21 years old but I still live with my mom and if my mom tells me that I can't drive I don't care how old I am I'm not gonna drive my car this is what she said when I came in they are just slushy I think she meant the road this is a decision you need to make if you call out 
it is an unexcused absence. Do what you need to. If you are going to call out, you need to try to find coverage. I'll send the numbers of the associates not working today. Now immediately, this kind of spun me a little bit in the wrong way. She wasn't rude. She didn't really say anything mean. You can hear the birds. I'm really sorry. Really? Really? Can you be quiet? First off, she said that when she came in, the roads were just slushy. I understand, you know, you want to be a little helpful, whatever. But as I saw on the news, and as it looked like from the outside of my house, the roads were icy. Like ice. Like dangerous ice. It also rubbed me a little bit of the wrong way for her to tell me that I needed to get coverage. Now, I don't know if other jobs are like this. If your job is like this, let me know. And I know that when you're wanting to get a shift covered a week or a couple days in advance, you do ask the person yourself. But as far as day of, I'm sick. If I can't come because of the weather, can't you call and ask them? I feel like it's kind of weird that I'm doing it, but I did it anyways. I texted a couple people. Most people couldn't come in again because of the weather and they weren't scheduled that day. So they're like, yeah, no, I'm not driving in this snow. So this first text was sent around like 1040 is when I texted her. She texted me back after she had sent me the phone numbers because I never texted her back. I was still trying to get coverage. Around 1235, she said, what do you think you will do for your shift tonight? I was just outside and it is raining right now. Let me know, thank you. I texted her back and I said, it's not looking like I will be able to drive. I asked two associates if they could come in and one said she couldn't because of the weather and the other hasn't responded yet. This is, this is the one that made me feel like, wow, she's really gonna talk to me like this? This is what she said next. That's fine. I will just have to do a 14 hour shift. Just so you know, the other 10 people that were scheduled to work today in the front and the pharmacy came to work. Dependability is necessary in this job. This message actually really ticked me off. I was like, wow, you're really gonna try to throw shade at me? You're really gonna try to make me feel bad? Make me feel bad because I don't wanna risk my life to come to work today. And you're gonna try to make me feel bad because you're gonna have to do a 14 hour shift? Well, you're the manager, right? And I don't mean to sound mean, I don't mean to sound negative, but this really did rub me the wrong way. I feel like a manager should not talk to you like this. I get it, dependability is necessary, and I'd only been there for a month, but I thought it'd be a lot more understanding because of the weather, because of the roads. I said I couldn't drive, but I'm not gonna get in my car and risk my life to come to work for a couple hours. I wasn't doing it. I believe this was about, I wanna say at least an hour after she texted me this, and this is what she said. It's all good. We're going to close early. No worries. We will discuss next time I see you. Thank you. We are going to close early. She went through all of this, trying to make me feel bad, for her to just tell me, oh, it's fine, we're gonna close early anyways. You don't need to come in. Which she probably would have texted me anyways if I hadn't told her that I wasn't able to come into work. Her saying she was gonna talk to me the next time she saw me. She never did, by the way. The next time she saw me at work, she was all, hey, Jasmine, how are you? I was ready for her to be like, can you come to my office? Like, no. So it seemed a little fake to me, but you know, it had only been my first like month and a half of working there and I was like you know what it's fine I'll stick it out we'll we'll see how the interaction progresses so after this for a while things were going really well for the next couple of months you know we came into the new year and everything things were going really really good everything seemed to be okay no tension nothing like that at work the next altercation that me and my manager had was middle to end of February ish I messed up a nerve in my back it was like my sci sciatic nerve I think that's what it was called I don't have these text messages I, I can't find them but I did text my manager I literally sent her a picture of the doctor's note and was like I can bring this to you if you need it and I have been told that I need to rest and I won't be able to come back to work a couple days later now let me tell you she did not text me back for like over 24 hours. I felt like that was very disrespectful. I moved on from that, I was like, it's whatever. Now another little preface is that I am prone to getting very sick. I get sick very easily. So working at a CVS where there's lots of sick people coming in and out, especially during flu season, I was bound to get the flu, which I did. Basically this day, I didn't even, I didn't even ask to call out. I had a fever, which means I shouldn't have been at work in the first place, but I knew how she was at this point. I think I was supposed to go in that day around two or three, and the person who was scheduled to leave wasn't out until like five or six. So I wanted to come in at five or six when the other person was leaving instead of me coming in earlier and I was sick. This was at 11.27 a.m. and I said, is there any way I could come in a little later today? I have a fever, so I told her I had a fever, and I can barely talk. My voice was shot. I was so sick, it, it was awful. I said, I'm not sure if I have the flu or strep throat. Turns out I had both. 
link in the bio, but I'm not sure if I can work a long shift. So she didn't text me back. I went to work at two or three whenever, was dying, literally dying at work. My manager tried to call her because he was like, she needs to go home. She didn't answer the phone. She didn't answer his text either. I, at this point, I was fed up. I was like, really? Like, I know I could have just not gone to work and everyone told me, don't go, don't go, don't go. But I was in my head like, I don't wanna get fired. I already feel like she doesn't like me. I don't wanna get fired. So I went to work, sick, 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 sick. I was, I was literally dying. I probably shouldn't have been there touching everything around all these people. At 5.20 p.m., after I'd already been at work for a couple of hours, she said, sorry, I just saw this, dot, dot. Not even three dots, two dots. At this point, I was mad. I was like venting to my manager. I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, I am sick. I just wanna go home. I said, it's okay, I'm here now, but I don't think I'll be able to come in tomorrow. I feel like I'm just getting worse and I won't be able to go to the doctor until Monday. I literally texted her this, one minute later no response nothing 10:05. i text her again after i'd gotten off because i literally worked the entire shift while i was dying and i said i just want to confirm with you that i wasn't going to be going in tomorrow morning because i literally was scheduled at 8 a.m the next morning i'm just now leaving and i feel a lot worse i really don't want to get anyone else sick and i know i need to go to the doctor she said i didn't get all of the text but it's just said thank you for texting again basically i didn't see your message and I will get it covered, which is fine. But in my head, I'm like, I get it, you're at home, but you being a manager and you just texted me and I literally text you back a minute later, a part of me is like, you had to have seen it, maybe you're ignoring me, but obviously I don't know those facts. So I'm not putting that on her, I'm not trying to say that that is what I thought and that is also what my manager thought as well but obviously I don't know so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that my next little run-in was literally like I want to say a week or so after I was sick so I normally would text her a week before when I could work that next week because of my school schedule and all that stuff it was like all over the place so I would basically just tell her when I was going to work or when I was available to work not when I was going to work but when I was available to work that next week that's what she wanted that's how she wanted it to be it's not like I was like holding off on telling her when I could work and stuff like that. That is how she wanted it and that's how she said it worked best for her because she made the schedule week by week. The schedule she would send out on Sundays or like Saturday nights. I texted her Friday and I said, hi, I hope you're well. As you know, I'm so nice. I just wanted to let you know when I can work next week. I can work Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday from eight to two. Now normally the days I told her I could work, normally those were the days that she would give me. Maybe, you know, an ex she would ask if I could work an extra day or take one of the days away. But normally the days I told her I could work is when I would normally be scheduled. Now she texted me back Saturday in the afternoon, so like a day, not even a full day later because I texted her like eight o'clock at night she said i forgot to put you on dot 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 monday eight to two thank you now going back and reading it i think about it a little differently but when i first read it i thought that meant she just forgot to put me on the schedule for monday eight to two no 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 no, no. literally i went in on monday eight to two and was told i wasn't put on the schedule at all she just didn't want to put me on the schedule i was heated i was livid if you haven't seen my sam's club video where i was left off the schedule for three weeks I will link it down below. Definitely go watch that video because it literally triggered me to be left off the schedule for an entire week. And then she didn't even have the audacity to send me the schedule because she would take a picture of the schedule and send it to everyone that worked there. I didn't even get the schedule. Because if I would have gotten it, I wouldn't have went in that Monday from eight to two because she literally didn't even put me on that day. She just asked me to come in because she forgot to schedule someone for that day. That week she texted me twice asking me if I could cover a shift. And what did I not do? I didn't text her back. Yes, that was probably very petty of me, but honestly, I was so upset and so mad at that point that I was like, you know what? I don't care. I'm not going in for you. I'm not coming to work. I'm not doing it. I don't care. If you didn't want to put me on the schedule, I'm not coming to work. At that point, I didn't even care about the money. And I was just like, I was fed up. I can't remember the exact day, but I put in my two weeks in the middle of April. I was over it. I was done. I didn't care if I had another job at that point. I was over that place. So I put in my two weeks. I told her respectfully I didn't. I didn't make a scene. I didn't do anything. I wasn't mean to her. I was going to text her like I normally do. For those last two weeks, I was just going to tell her, like, you know, straight out when I could work those last two weeks. Now, like I said, normally I do that on about Thursday or Friday afternoon, and I will just text her and tell her, you know, hey, this is when I'm available for this next week. But on Wednesday, she sent out the schedule. I was actually on it, but she, she didn't ask me when I could work. I was on the schedule of times I couldn't work. But there was one day, it was Easter Sunday, 
I had an event I had to go to at 2 o'clock and I had to be there at 2 o'clock like on time I was scheduled to leave work at 2 o'clock normally when stuff like that happens I was like okay I can still go to work I'll just bring the clothes I need to wear with me and I will just ask if I can leave around 1 so I texted her I was wondering if it, if it would be possible for me to leave at 1 on Sunday I'm supposed to be going to see well I think I said to see family but it was like an event type of thing to see family at 2 for Easter she said Ask whoever is closing that night if they can come in at 1. And I said, okay, it's blank and blank. I can text blank and I don't know blank because the other person was very new. Like it was literally her like first week there. And I had no intention of like making an interaction because I was never going to see her. And I said, would you be able to ask her? Now I thought that was a simple question. I had one person's number. I didn't know the other person. So I felt weird even asking because they didn't know who I was. I never met them. So she sent me the person's number. She sent me her phone number, which is not what I asked. I asked, can you ask her if she can come in? Because you're the manager. But she just sent me her phone number. And I was like, whatever. So I texted the girl. She obviously never texted me back. I was like, all right, whatever. I texted her back on Saturday. This was the 20th. This is after I got off of work. And this is also my last day. My last day was supposed to be the Saturday after this. Keep that in mind. My last day was supposed to be the Saturday after April 20th. I said this very nicely. I believe I said this nicely. If y'all think I was mean, let me know. But I think I said this very nicely. So I contacted both blank and blank about tomorrow and neither of them are able to come in early but I am really going to have to leave at one now I felt like that was very respectful I said I would still come in I'm not just saying hey I'm not coming to work I'm not going I'm not coming I said I will go but I have to leave at one normally managers can be left by themselves for an hour and that's a slow hour between 12 and 1 is never really busy especially because it's gonna be Easter Sunday nobody's gonna be in CVS on Easter Sunday from 12 to 1 the manager being left by themselves would have been no problem I even asked one of our other managers who's all Always left by himself and he's like yeah that should be perfectly fine if the other manager is left by herself guess not this is what my store manager said to me I'm on vacation and before you come at me she was not on a real vacation she was just at home she just took a week off she didn't go nowhere because she told everyone this that she was just having a stay-at-home vacation which is fine have your stay-at-home vacation but you're still a store manager you will need to find someone to cover your shift then exclamation points call the store and get phone numbers if not you will in all caps have to work Showing up an hour late is better than making me drive an hour down there to work an hour and then drive home while I'm on vacation. First off, that message pissed me off. I was over it. I didn't text her back. I've never talked to her again since that day. That was so rude to me. She basically was telling me to be late to my event that I had already planned, that I had told her about when she sent the schedule out. And then she's saying that why would she come into work for an hour? Why would you come into work for an hour? Leave the manager by herself for an hour. As long as someone's in the store, it's fine. I was so confused. Really, you're gonna talk to me like this? This is not how you treat an employee. This is not. It's my last week anyways. That was literally my last week there. I literally only worked two days. She only scheduled me Sunday and Saturday. I was like, this is my last week here. And you're going to talk to me like this? I was like, no, I'm over it. I'm done. I literally showed my mom, my dad, my boyfriend, everyone this text message. And they were all like, be done. I sent it to my friends. I was like, what do I do? I say anything? What do I do? They were like, just don't go back. Don't text her. Don't go back there. I even texted two of my coworkers and sent them that message. And they were like, just don't come back. Don't come back. That's really rude. That is rude. Who talks to their employee like that? You will come to work. I will not do that. What did I do? I texted the manager that was supposed to open that next morning and I said, it was great working with you, but I will not be returning. And that's all I said. Do you know what? She probably had to come to work anyways for the full day. So you didn't have to go in for an hour. You had to go in for the full like seven or eight hour shift. You're welcome. I hope this video wasn't too long. I'm not sure. It might have been. But that is all I have for this video for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, this is just my experience. Obviously, I love the company CVS. It took a lot out of me to even put in my two weeks because I love the company. It was just my store manager that I did not love. Don't allow yourself to be treated any kind of way at a job just for some money. There is plenty of other jobs out there. There is plenty of other ways to make money out there. Don't cut yourself short. If you take anything from this story, don't take that CVS is a horrible company. Company because they're not. CVS is honestly a great company. They are doing great things and if I could have worked under a different manager, I would have probably still been there today. But don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Hit the post notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!